and goodbye life savings. I'm Mannequin. How's everyone doing today? Uh, hey, how's it going, Celestial? You're the first to see. <sighs> you typed first. Ah! <laughs> How's it going, Kiova? Hey, how's it going, Bowser? Ah. Uh. Did you guys make any progress today in your lives? I actually made some progress. I finally got some time to, you know, study Japanese again. So I sat down and, you know, did a little bit of Japanese practice. So that was awesome. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, yeah. I also bought some new headphones, which I'm super excited for. These headphones are okay. These are great. These are um, barrel dynamic headphones, which are like super, super good. The problem with them is that they're closed ears. So I can't really hear myself talk and it's weird. So I bought some open ear headphones and hopefully, you know, those will sound better. <laughs> anyway, today we're playing some Bolatro. Just, you know, it's a little one-off stream. We just finished um, uh, Princess Peach and we're just gonna um, hang out, have fun. Maybe we might not do Bolatro the entire time. We might do chat. We might, you know, look at stuff online and we might just, I don't know, um, go play Fire Emblem Engage and Go see Fram, my darling, again. <laughs> anyway, let's play. <sighs> you ever have, like, one of those weird revelations where you're like, huh, what am I doing right now? Or visit the unemployment center? I don't know if Minecraft even still works, man. Hopefully this shows up on the screen. Is it showing up? Right, it says Bellatro. Bellatro generally takes longer. There it is. Oh, I turned off the uh, uh, the music. You know what? You know what I just realized? We don't actually need their music. So, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Um... Here, Let, let's put on some new music. Where's my fizzy soda? Here. All right. Hey, how's it going, Chumsuke? Hey, there we go. You reminded me because you said unemployment center. This was my old Minecraft music. It's been a while, Chumsuke. I hope you're doing well. What will the next stream be? It might, it probably will be Bug Snacks because someone mentioned it and I actually met the producer, or not the producer, the director of Bug Snacks and he seemed cool, so I wanted to try his game. <laughs> All right, reach anti-level 12. Oh boy, that's gonna be rough. Okay, so I've been playing a little bit. We've unlocked a lot of jokers. Uh, so we got this joker here. I've been doing a lot of the flush strat, so I'm gonna try not to do flush strat this time around. Um, You know what? I have to turn up the audio here to so you can hear the clicks and stuff. Okay, so what do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, what strat should I use this time? Okay, so... Uh, oh, we were in the mat. Well, we can restart a, a run. Okay, so I'm gonna try a deck that I haven't beaten yet. So we have Magic deck. We have the Nebula deck. Start with a Telescope, but minus one consumable slot. Spectral cards may appear at the shop. Start with a Hex card. Ooh, Hex is pretty good. Start with no face cards in my deck. Start with 26 spades and 26 hearts. <laughs> That's like flush strat. That's 100% flush strat. You had some burgers. What type of burger? Like... What do you put on your... Okay, actually, you know what? Everyone right now, tell me what you put on your burger. Um, what do I put on my burger? Well, 
I'm a big fan of blue cheese. I know some people hate blue cheese, but I really like blue cheese. So I usually do blue cheeseburgers. Um, lately, I've seen people put like barbecue sauce and blue cheese. It's like, no, you're going to cover up the blue cheese flavor with barbecue sauce. It's either barbecue sauce, which is sweet, or blue cheese, which is tangy. But you don't put both. You know what I mean? Anyway. We're going to try the abandoned deck. No face cards. Let's do it. Oh, wow, it really is no face cards. Oh, straights might be really good on this one. Okay, so let's go. Six, actually, anything that's with either pairs or straights will be really good. Meat, cheese, mayo, tomato, if there's any, which we don't. Uh, oh, you're one of those people who puts tomatoes on your burger. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a what a fail. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't like tomatoes, but I'm okay with that. Sometimes tomatoes are okay. Okay, so we got a straight already. We'll do ace, because ace is worth more. Steven, <laughs> do what, does Stephen Hay not like tomatoes? Failure! <laughs> Failure! <laughs> oh, hey, look. Four of a kind. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of loud, actually. We'll do 60. Easy. Mayo is okay if there's no other sauce. Like, um, if you guys go to In-N-Out, for those of you who live in California... Right? I'd rather have their kind of like their Thousand Islands sauce over their over mayo and ketchup and mustard. But some people prefer ketchup and mustard, so. Hmm. Ooh, paintbrush is good. Paintbrush is always good. Played face cards. We don't have face cards. Hand size. Mm. Nah, we don't need it. All right. Oh, we already got a full house, but let's see if we can go bigger. The tomato thing is like one fourth a lie. I only eat it if it comes on the burger. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. One thing I don't like about tomatoes is it makes the burger wet, right? It's like, and when if the bun is falling apart, then no, and it's no good. You gotta like, like tomato. That's the problem, right? If you like. If you like sun dry the tomato, I'm perfectly cool with sun dried tomatoes, but regular tomatoes are too wet for like a lot of foods. Like, that's why I don't put tomatoes on a sandwich. Ooh, there we go. Four of a kind. Bam, baby. All right, we'll get this paintbrush here. Okay. If hand contains three or fewer cards. No, because now we have the paintbrush. Our hand size is nine now. Oh, we'll check to see if we get any good jokers. Ooh. Oh, oh, times four multiplier of hand contains four of a... Oh, 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 that's pretty good. Oh, ooh, ooh. Each seven of hearts. Oh, we're, we're going with that one. BLT fans say otherwise. Well, see, BLT fans are wrong, right? <laughs> no. Right, what do you guys put on your burgers and your sandwiches? Oh, three, three, three. Perfect. We just need that. This card. There it is. Easy. As a BLT fan, I agree with me. See, I'm cool with BLA. Do you guys know what BLTA is? Bacon, lettuce, tomato, and avocado. Remove the T. It's just BLA. Bacon, lettuce, avocado. Hmm, even cards. 
for each discarded 10. If this goes up to Jack, then it's not good. Um, playing cards can be purchased. Tarot. Let's do tarot cards. You guys like avocado? Avocado is like a California thing from what I understand. Ooh, three aces. Increases two rank. Oh, you know, if we increase these fives, they become sixes. And then getting four of a kind on six is really good. Let's do that. We'll increase those. Now we have six sixes. Uh-oh, devil number. You love avocado? Best thing to put on... You know, I went... When I was in the East Coast, I think I was in Baltimore, right? I asked if they had... If I could add avocado to my burger, and they looked at me like I was insane. <laughs> six, six. Ooh, that's great. Eight. Oh, ace, ace also. We'll go for the sixes, though, because... Uh, we'll keep the aces, actually. Three sixes, perfect. <laughs> and we'll throw away the aces, too. Uh, Alright, we'll fish for it once more. And then if not, we'll just play a full house. Six, six, six. Dang it! Ah, we didn't get it. Oh, well. Maybe we can get four of a kind threes. Do we, have we thrown away a three? Yeah, there's still one three in there. Two, three, ace. This is rough, man. Ten, nine, eight, seven. We don't have a six either. We'll just do a three of a kind threes. No, we can do... We'll throw these out. Come on, give me that four of a kind. Yeah, there it is! We gotta risk it for the biscuit, baby. Bam! Is avocado really only a West? From what I understand, yeah. Like, or at least like avocado on sandwiches. Hmm, do we want this? Tarot cards used, odd cards. I mean, we can go ahead and buy them and just hold on to them for now. Ooh, got that. <laughs> You're not going to the east if you can. <laughs> Man, I learned how to cut avocado. It's actually a lot more difficult than I thought. How's it going, Dergody? All right, we'll just go with this odd one. Uh, this one, this one stacks though. Actually, we'll go with this one. You did it. Welcome. We're playing using the abandoned deck, so we have no uh, face cards. All right, nine nine. All right, we want to get that four of a kind, so we'll discard this, 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 and uh, that. Discard. Okay, we got three nines. Do, 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 do. We'll do we we want to go for it. We're going to go for it. Come on, baby. Oh, four, four, six, six. Is it more likely to get two sixes or one nine? Who? Oh, what, what's the probability? I mean, we have lots of sixes. We only have one nine left. Uh, You know, we'll keep both. And then we'll play a full house if necessary. Oh, there it is. Four nines, baby. Bam. How you doing, Goaty? We're talking about sandwiches and burgers. What do you put on your burger? I upped the speed. Yeah, I upped it to times two instead of times one. What am I going for? I was thinking, you know, if I can, I have six I have six sixes in here, so I'm trying to go for a four of a kind, uh, constant four of a kinds. So that's that's the goal. What do we get? Ooh, ooh, ooh. we can go. Okay, if uh, we don't have that many fives, we only have two fives because we up those to sixes. But if we do eights, we can get two nines. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so we have six sixes and six nines. 
We got 66 and 69. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. First face card, we don't have any face cards. Like sauces, meat, tomato, salad, a homemade sauce and cheese. See, we were talking about tomato earlier. Like tomato is nice, but it also makes the burger wet, which is why I say no tomato. It's like, if you like tomato, you're wrong. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, what type of sauce? Ooh, zero discard. That's gonna be rough. Oh, never mind. It's not that rough. <laughs> Bam, baby! Forbid onion. Oh, hey, what about grilled onions, though? Salt the tomato a little and thus not mushy. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that one. See, here's the problem. If I was making the burger, sure. But if I'm going out, what am I gonna say? Can you salt the tomato? <laughs> Maybe I could, I guess. Okay, let's see. Minus one ante and minus one hand. If it contains a straight. Mm, I mean, we don't really do straights right now. We can do planets, I guess. Have I tried grilling a tomato? I mean, grilled tomatoes are okay. I prefer them like dried. Like sun-dried tomatoes are great because there's no water. Grilled tomatoes still have some water in it. Mix ketchup, mayo with a little mustard and spices. Very good sauce. Ah, so you're a classic type of guy. Ketchup, mustard, and mayo. I put them on separately, but they all end up mixed up together anyway, but fair enough. I'm an In-N-Out sauce guy. So for those of you who don't live in California, In-N-Out is like th like Thousand Islands dressing, but a little bit tangier. Oh, you don't like cooked tomatoes. Interesting. I only like tomatoes if they're like gone through some level of processing. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Ooh, egg, 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 egg. <laughs> Can I pay off my debt with this egg? <laughs> egg. <laughs> Have you guys played, um, what is, what is the game called? A Hat in Time? I really want to play it with you guys, even though I've already beaten the game like a million times. Because there's just this one random seal in that game that goes, egg. <laughs> uh... Hmm, I, maybe I should put an egg command. Good call, Bowser. <laughs> mm, we can get the Empress, I guess. Sure, why not? All right, we got two nines, two tens. Let's go for that four of a kind with the nines. Uh, three of a kind, we got a full house at least. No, unfortunately not. I, I mean, Hat in Time is a really good game. Oh, you know what? We'll just use this malt. Because why not, right? Beep, beep. And then we get that plus three. Let's see how sustainable the four of a kind hand is. Man, egg is going to be so valuable. Do da 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 da. Oh, we should use this first. Oh, oh. Okay, you guys ready to play lottery? <laughs> do we risk our life savings on a lotto? Let's do it! No! Dang it! Would I rather eat a whole tomato or a raw potato? Raw potatoes aren't that bad. I mean, they're really, really starchy, sure, but um, if you can if you can wash the potato and get remove some of like the excess starch, I think it'd be okay. Like raw potato is actually a dish. You're so happy I'm playing Bolhaltro. <laughs> you almost forgot you're gone for Easter to Grandma. Oh, 
Uh, happy Easter. In Germany, do you do egg hunts? Because <laughs> here in America, we do egg hunts. We hide, like, painted eggs and, like, kids look for them. <laughs> oh, we could try Wheel of Fortuning again. Is raw potato... Okay, so you know what? We're actually going to look this up. Okay. Dishes with raw potato. Have I tried peeps? I freaking hate peeps. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you can use, like, raw potato. Let's see. Some raw potatoes can be used in certain salads. Um, ceviche is a Latin American dish with raw fish and seafood. Raw potatoes are often added for texture and flavor. Um, you can use them as snacks. They can be added to stew- oh, no, but then that's cooking them. Yeah, if you slice thin raw potatoes, apparently they make good snacks. Oh, huh, interesting. As a grown adult, you can't enjoy it anymore. Nonsense! You can always enjoy things uh, for kids. <laughs> I love peeps. Why do you love everything I hate, Kiyoma? You like horror? I hate horror. You like peeps? I hate peeps. Yeah, it's just diced, like diced raw potatoes can be added to salad. It's not common, but apparently it's not bad. It's like croutons. <laughs> oh, you know what? We should do this. Now that turns into a nine. So we have seven nines. Oh, and then we can do this. Now we have eight nines. Oh wait, no, I can't. This one will just create another death. Still, better than nothing. We have so many potato dishes. I mean, let's be real. I think cooked potato, like mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, um, cheesy potato, cheesy scalloped potatoes. Cooked potatoes are obviously better, but if you had me eat a raw potato, it's like, I could see myself enjoying that. You tried raw before? It'd be so weird and crunchy. I mean, it is crunchy, but you kind of think of it like eating an apple, but with like really thick juice. <laughs> Twice baked potato. Oh, hey, how's it going, Irishot? So for those of you who don't know, Irishot is actually a chef, so... Um, hey, Irishot, um, how, how would you use raw potato? Could you use that in a dish? <laughs> you want just some dinosaur nuggies. <laughs> I mean, that's not bad. Oh, three sevens. Uh, we can get rid of this three right here. Yeah, we'll just go. This card. Okay, we got the nines. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, Irishot's a chef. He was, t uh, um, uh, Irishot was, uh, um, uh, uh, telling me about knives. Yeah, Irishot was telling me about knives. Uh, let's see here. We'll do that. Yeah, Irish, how would you, uh, can't say you ever heard of raw potato. You're a liar! You're, I'm telling you! It exists! It exists! Yeah, Ira tells me, like, uh, we were talking about knives at one point, I think. <laughs> liar! <laughs> You're a liar. You're a cheat. Ooh, this is good, because I'm doing four of a kind. Three of a kinds contain four of a kinds, right?
Cards drawn face down after each hand play. So let's finish it in one hand. Come on, we gotta get more nines. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, maybe we can get a five of a kind. No, oh well. Have I heard of Ganachi? <laughs> Noki is delicious. Is it pronounced Noki? Is it like knuckle, like nucky or noki or? I mean, I pronounce it like gnome, so gnoki is how I pronounce it. I, I'm not Italian. <laughs> I pronounce noki. Okay. Even though, you, for those of you who are here for my Lies of Peace stream, you know, like I am a bad Italian accent. <laughs> I am a vanini. <laughs> BRB? All right. Hmm. I mean, this one's good. What 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 boss are we at right now? Okay, we got that voucher. Okay, hey, cards drawn face down after each hand. That's not. Oh, we've already beaten. Oh, we, so we don't know, I guess. <laughs> eh, whatever. Hmm. Oh, we can destroy some cards. That's good. Enhance two cards to be mult cards. That's not bad. Double money. I like money. Creates a random joker. Why don't we destroy some cards? Yeah, let's destroy this two and this three right here. This stream is livelier than usual. Um, one thing I like for these types of streams is like when we're playing kind of like just a silly game where, you know, time doesn't matter. Like I get to chat with you guys. Nokia 331. <laughs> oh, I get one more. And let's just see what Joker we get. What is this? Oh, hey. Uh, um, four of a kind inherently contains a pair, right? <laughs> Indestructible, but I'm making a whole lot of friends. I'm making a whole lot of enemies. I'm telling you, raw potato is a thing. <laughs> you are insulting an entire culture that I'm sure exists somewhere. <laughs> Ooh, the next one becomes hologram. Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> Discard. <coughs> we got three nines. Beep, 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 beep. We're oh, four sixes, not bad. <laughs> I'd have to slice them on a mandolin. <laughs> We need some better jokers. Our jokers are okay, but they're not great. What's my favorite joker so far? Flushes have helped me win all at like all the first several decks. Like so far all I've been able to win with is flush. <laughs> standard pack, standard pack. Maybe we should just buy this in case we have a really tough um boss. Uh Base chips are ha that's not that bad. <laughs> then this is 14 now, which is pretty good. We can keep keep it going. I think we're okay for the next several. When in doubt, flush. I agree. That's true of both poker and the bathroom. Let's get that five of a kind.
It's a very sharp tool used in kitchens to slice very uh, thin stuff. Is that the thing that goes like this? Or you're like, like shaving it? Like you're shaving the thing? Like you put the potato, it's like a deli slicer, right? It, it looks like a deli slice. You use it like a deli slicer. <laughs> Five of a kind, baby. Look at that, 37,000. You still a chef. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? For each queen? I don't have any queens. Nope. Ooh, what do we got? Two planets, glass card. Bonus cards. We can do bonus cards. Might as well. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Ooh, hey, hey, hey! If a poker hand has already been played this round, uh, I probably can't pull off four of a kinds multiple times. Eh, let's just keep going. What's my highest stake? I think I can look that up, right? My best hand so far, my best hand is this, with two million so far. Uh, I think my highest I've gotten to is to anti-11. And my most played hand is flush, as you can see. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Oh, there are the nines. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, eh, we can discard the sixes. Sixes aren't as good as nines for me. Oh, but then we got a four of a kind for- Ah, dang it. You know what? We've committed. That's good. Bam. Man, this one is doing work. Times four multiplier for four of a kind. Oh, 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 for those of you who just joined, um, what do you guys put on your burger? This was a very important question. I said blue cheese, lettuce, grilled onions is good. Um, I Somebody said no onions, but grilled onions are delicious. Onion, raw onions are a little bit too pungent sometimes, you know? Ooh, what is this? Without playing my most played poker. No, I'm entirely, um, ooh, ooh, a rare. Oh no, that's the obelisk. Oh, we can get this one though. <laughs> you only put cheese and sometimes bacon. What about lettuce? Like, lettuce and caramelized onions. Okay, make it fancy. Crispy onions, barbecue sauce, and smoked gouda. See, 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 smoked gouda and barbecue sauce, that's good. But you don't put barbecue sauce and blue cheese. I, there was this restaurant I went to um, where they put barbecue sauce and blue cheese on the same burger. And it's like, you only taste the barbecue sauce. There's no blue cheese. Lettuce doesn't add, yes, but it's good for you. <laughs> Ooh, hot dogs. What do you guys put on hot dogs? That's a good call. <laughs> Ooh, next base edition Joker becomes negative. Extra large blind. Mm, nah. <clears throat> Lettuce adds crunch. I agree. All right. Ooh, three nines, we got the three nines. Come on, four nines. Hey, there's my four nines. You put a hot dog in your hot, I mean, I would hope so. Mayo and ketchup. Mayo on a hot dog, huh, I've never tried thought of that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a believer of simple, right? Raw onions on a hot dog are great. Ooh, ooh, sauerkraut. I'm a sauerkraut type of person. I like deli mustard, 
and sauerkraut and relish if they don't have sauerkraut. <laughs> but ketchup, I'm like, eh, ketchup is like meh for me for a hot dog. Ketchup and pickled onions. Ooh, ooh, okay, that's good. That's good. Pickled onions. Okay, okay, I like that. Pickle onions or neon relish. Have you guys ever had neon relish? Do you guys even know what I'm talking about? Hot dog with thousand out. That sounds interesting. I should try it. Like, here in LA, bacon wrapped hot dogs are like the LA hot dogs. So, um, if you go to any hot dog stand here in, well, I'm not in LA, I'm in San Diego right now, but if you go to any hot dog stand in LA, their hot dog is a bacon wrapped hot dog with grilled onions, grilled peppers, jalapenos, mustard, and mayo. Neon relish? You've never had neon relish? Okay. Well, I mean, it's kind of a weird thing. It's like, I think it's like a Chicago thing. Neon relish. Um, yeah, I, I actually just looked it up, but it's essentially just a uh, regular relish, but they add like blue dye to make it look neon. <laughs> it, it's, it, yeah, I looked it up. It's Chicago style. Um, ketchup and mayonnaise. I'm not a big ketchup person, to be honest. Um, but, I mean, mayonnaise is actually not bad. Mayonnaise and mustard with, um, grilled onions and peppers is good. Oh, wow, money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money! <laughs> Ooh, this is good. When a blind is selected, gain plus three hands and lose all discards. What? <clears throat> Ooh, plus 20 multiplier if it contains four of a kind. Three of a kind pair. Ooh, okay. Bye, egg. Where's Rich? Only around the meat. Wait. Uh... Do they wrap the bacon? No, no, no. It's just around the, the the hot dog itself, not around the bun. Like you grill it with the the the, the hot dog around it, so then the um, the hot dog absorbs the bacon flavor, and then you put it in the bun. <laughs> we'll move that over there. Hmm. Next Joker becomes a negative. That's actually not bad, because then we can get another Joker. <clears throat> Uh, this blind is extra large. This card? Oh, okay. We already got our four of a kind for sixes. But first, let's destroy this four and this eight. No, and destroy this ace. Because the eight might be able to become a nine. Have I cried deep fried Oreos? I have, actually. It, they're okay, I think. <clears throat> wow, that didn't even make it to 44. Eh, that's okay, we got it. Easy. Ooh, a negative. Here it is. We can buy this one just because it fits. Bam. Ooh, plus two chips for each dollar I have, and I have lots of dollars, if you know what I'm saying. Plus 50 chips if it contains a pair. No, so we should just get rid of this one. Bam. You were disgusted when you tried it. I mean, yeah, not all fried things have to be, um, have to be, um, you know, salty, right? Because, for example, um, what is it? Like, um, donuts are fried. <coughs> that gives us 13. 
I mean, that's pretty good for this one. Bull. My friend talked to you about butter on a stick. Just randomly asked if I tried it before. Butter on a stick? I think that's a Midwestern thing. Like, deep fried butter. I think that's actually a thing. And eh, we'll just play this one. This one looks good, though. Yeah, that, I think that's a Midwest, um... That, that's a Midwest American thing, I think. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's true. Oh, we got the four nines. Let's go for a five. There we go. Five of a kind, baby. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay, we can get an Arcana. You tried the chocolate pancake batter Oreo. Yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe you should deep fry Oreos. I mean, if you can bread it in something like the pancake batter. I prefer waffle batter. Waffle batter is lighter, but pancake batter is okay too. Hmm. Let's go with this one. What will we get? <laughs> one card becomes lucky. <clears throat> Molt cards. More money. <laughs> Let's see what we get in the Celestial Pack. Mars. Yeah. You'd rather have your Oreos covered in chocolate? I mean, double stuffed Oreos, I never realized <laughs> that double stuffed Oreos were a thing until I saw my friend. He like actually just takes apart the Oreos and puts like multiple pieces of cream and then just snacks them together. <laughs> And he's like, oh, we should do this with double stuff. And I was like, wait, there's there are Oreos that have more cream inside? <laughs> the problem with Oreos is once you eat them, your teeth turn black. I think those that's the biggest problem with Oreos. Pluto. Here. Meh. <clears throat> nine, nine, ten, ten, ace, ace. There's also Mega Stuff Oreos. Oh my goodness. Inverted Oreo. <laughs> the actual cookie is sandwiched between two cream slides. I feel like... I'm trying to figure out the logistics of that. How would that actually work? <laughs> like, how do you pick it up? How do they package it? How could they possibly package it? Give me that nine. All right, five a can, baby. <clears throat> the mess it would be. It would be so messy. <clears throat> Planet. At the number of times a poker hand has been played to the- Oh, that's really good. Our four of a kind is really high. Uh, it's only 14 right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, this one's already higher than that. But we should do the Mars. Let's mm -hmm. reroll. Plus 15 molt when zero. Oh, hey, eggs back. <clears throat> yeah, nothing good. We should be able to make it to eight. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I have no idea what I'm playing. I might as well just play them. Oh, ha, two pair. 
Wait, wait, something just multiplied from the hand itself. <clears throat> Why is there something that- what was that? And we'll just play that as well. I have no idea. <clears throat> ah, okay, perfect. We're back in this, baby. Hey, five of a kind is back. Discard the right most cards. Nah, we're good. We just we just rely on luck here. <laughs> oh, raised fist, right. <clears throat> Ooh, rerolls cost two less. That's good. Hmm. <laughs> 11 buckos, and I just spent them all. Uh, reroll. What is that? If the first hand of the round is a 6, destroy it and create a spectral card. That's kind of fun. <clears throat> Maybe we can get rid of this Wily Joker. Like, 100 chips, this is already giving us 140 and a times 10 multiple plus 10 multiplier. This is a super spicy build, right? What do you guys think? Should I go... I mean, we have lots of sixes in our deck. So might as well. I'm going for it. Alright, we want to get some nice spectral cards. Ooh, this one also gives us a free spectral pack. <clears throat> Yeah, but we can get a spectral pack from this, plus more money. All right, give me that six. There it is. Bam. Gimme, baby! <clears throat> hey, what is that? Purple seal. I heard that eight skill well with sixes. Wait, what? <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> Lose them sixes in the game. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. This card. Hey, tarot card. Hey, they're in the nines. <clears throat> I don't like the stone card, to be honest. Yeah, five of ten. There it is. Bam, baby. Gimme. Uh, 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 mm, uh. Do 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 do. Mm. Oh, misprint. <laughs> misprint failed me last time. Oh, this is a good one to pick up. We'll sell that, because I don't like the stone cards. You meant sevens and sixes? Earned four dollars. I do like money. <laughs> One more roll. Diamond suit cards. Jupiter. Eh, next round. <clears throat> Ooh, hey, look at the six. I could play this four of a kind, but I want that spectral card. <laughs> this is why I end up losing, because I always end up doing stupid crap. <laughs> ah, we're going for the nines. We're going for the nines, baby. Nah, we won't go for the nines. We, if we get another six. How many sixes do we have? We only have one six left. Nah, discard. Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh, no. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. we all turn this into a, there we go. Nine, nine, nine. We have the, we got the four of a kind. <clears throat> uh, we can try for one more. 
Nine. Discard. And there it is! Alright, and we'll also... Held in my hand. We'll do this one. Beep, beep. Click, 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 click. Bam, baby. <clears throat> hey, Zeh! Hey, look, it's Pluto. <laughs> Frickin' Pluto. Put blue seal on a steel. Ooh, that's a good call. Good call, good call. Oh, hey, free money. <clears throat> and might as well use it. Three of a kind, 12 molt. Every card counts. Meh. Yeah, there's the diamond. Uh, we might as well buy this just for the sake of giving it to our fortune teller. Uh, we'll try one more reroll. Anything good? Ooh, a gold card. <clears throat> Next round. Lose one dog. No, my money! High card build when? Oh boy. All right, let's just turn some stuff into gold cards. Or let's just turn some random stuff into diamonds. Because, sure. Diamond. Oh, we can even play a flush. Uh, but first, we gotta play this. <laughs> Give me that spectral card, baby. Ooh! ooh, ooh. <clears throat> Destroy one card at random. Mmm. Add four random enhanced number. Ah. Uh, Bit of a risk. Nah. The spectral cards always are super risky. Oh, this one will give me a tarot card. Uh, let's go ahead and sell this. We got four sevens, actually. Why don't we just do that first? <clears throat> Oh, wow, we did it. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 pizza. What do you guys put on your pizza? That's, that's the question. Now that's a real question. Every played card permanently gains four chips. That's actually not bad. Do I discard six cents and just do this one? Pepperoni and apples. Wait, apple? Really? Really? I, I might try that, to be honest. Um, pepperoni. See, I love pepperoni. The problem I have with pepperoni is it ends up making the pizza greasy. You know what? I'm selling this. <clears throat> Ooh. All face cards become gold. Yay for all my face cards that I have. Ooh! Now that's good. Okay, uh, never mind. We're gonna sell that. Uh, bonus cards. We don't need bonus cards. What we need is this. Now let's go. App Pizza. Quattro Formaggi. Like, lots of cheeses. Also, salami. See, I love salami and pepperoni. My problem with it is that it makes the pizza greasy. It's really hard. Pizza with pear, nuts, and gorgonzola. Actually, I know that that is pr good. I've I've heard that that is really good before. Also, how's it going, Killy? Hey, how's it going, Saf? All right, we gotta up these to eights. So, ooh. Uh, I, you're right, I should have put it on the steel one, but... Eh. We're gonna discard that. We're looking for nines. Ooh, there's an eight. Uh, maybe we can find another eight. How many eights do I have? I have only have... Oh, I have one eight left. I mean, we might get lucky. <clears throat> I don't really need the planets. Hmm... Um... 
This is if it's held at the end of the round, you get gold. You know what? We'll use it. Might as well. <clears throat> boom, 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 boom. Oh, there was the other eight. Dang it. Oh, well. Oh, <laughs> you weren't subscribed. Well, thanks for subscribing, Saf. Uh, your friend has eats peach pizza. Interesting. Interesting. You guys do pineapple pizza. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> Frickin' pineapples, man. Ooh, there's Mars. You know, pineapple burgers are actually not bad. Ah, eh, sell that one. I don't need Venus. <clears throat> that one time you went to Michigan, you had pineapple pizza. Interesting. Explain to me why that was a terrible idea. It's okay. <laughs> you eat it if there's nothing, if it's there. Fair enough. You know, fair enough. Pineapple pizza isn't, like, awful. It's just, like, huh, interesting. You know what I mean? <laughs> Retrigger all face cards. Um, earn two for discard. Adds the sell value to all owned jokers to the left of this card. This would have been really good with egg. <laughs> <clears throat> you remember it being crunchy? You know, here's the interesting thing. When I eat pineapple pizza, I actually eat it by, um, what is it? I eat it by eating the pineapple separately and then I eat the pizza. Like, I don't actually eat that. Like, I like pineapple, I like pizza, but... <laughs> Uh, I can take two random planets. Stone cards are weird. You know what? We gotta go for that lucky card. <laughs> exactly! Who are you to deny food, right? Planet A- hey! Give me that five of a kind. <clears throat> Cards with the club suit give plus eight multiplier. Meh. Oh, we've almost won. I didn't even realize. I was too busy talking about pizza and burgers and hot dogs. <laughs> nine, nine. Boop, 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 boop. We'll keep the six. Nine, 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 nine. We don't need a planet. Eights. There are my nines. Bam, baby. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> um, without being the biggest backseat gamer, four of a kind is better scale than your five of a kind, I think. Is it? I mean, <laughs> I'm on easy mode right now because I'm bad at this game. <laughs> So I think either one works. <laughs> oh, this is the destroy the Joker one. I think YouTube randomly unsubscribes you. Oh, yes, you're absolutely right. Um, If you don't watch a channel, YouTube sometimes just decides to unsubscribe you, which is kind of silly, but... Well, welcome back, Saf. <laughs> per planet used. I don't use planets that much. Removes the enhance. I love my enhancements. Uh, we'll see what we get in the Joker. <clears throat> Welcome back, Yoma. Ooh, hollow. Mm. This one will give me plus four. Nah, it's not that good. Uh, per hand played, per hand discarded. Uh, I discard a lot of hands. Plus eight if hand contains a pair. Meh. Egg! Egg's back! I don't think I have a reason to get rid of it. Uh, to, to get rid of anything right now. Yeah, we'll skip it. Oh well. Mercury. Water. One more. Ooh! 
Oh, lose all discards, nah. Nah, let's just keep going. Forces one card to always be select. Ooh, that's gonna be rough. Go. Okay, they selected the 10. Boom, 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 and boom. We'll discard. Bam! We got a star. Okay, they selected the ace. We need more nines. We need our nines. Discard. Yeah, there we go! Should we do lucky card? Nah, we don't need luck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You made some heads up plays. <laughs> Should we keep going? Let's see how far we can get. I don't think I'm gonna get much farther because I can only get to, I can only play one hand, which is five of a kind. And I can probably only play it once the entire uh, round. <laughs> you know what? Let's do a different deck then. Let's just do a new run. <clears throat> Hey, I finally did it! I finally won a run without playing a flush. It took forever. <laughs> Continue. Oh, that's cool. They put the little symbol once you've beaten it. Like, this has uh, the black difficulty. Or no, it's the white difficulty. <laughs> Let's get to the billions. You guys ready to only play flushes? <laughs> Let's play the checkered deck. Go! Hashtag flush. Oh wow, we have a four of a kind. We'll just do that first. I remember when you guys would try to guess um, what the, uh, all straights and flushes can be made with four cards, that's perfect. Um, I remember when you guys tried to guess like what the um, commands were, oh man, good times. The masculine urge, flush, flush. <laughs> You still remember Cinnabon? Oh my goodness. There are still some commands you guys have never got, but I'm not gonna expect you guys to ever guess them. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I mean, it's a foil. We can just pick it up. For each Joker, eh, I'd rather check the Arcanas. <laughs> you remember Manana? <laughs> Oh, manana. <laughs> uh, we'll just do a glass card. Cause glass cards are cool. I'll put it on the six, because why not, right? Was there a monkey one, too? I mean, there was cog. Oh, yeah, and monkey. All cards played previously are debuffed. That's not that bad. Bam, 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 bam. Give me that. Boom, 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 boom. I guess we could play that even though it's debuffed. How many comments are there? Ah, uh, yeah, today's pretty lively. Probably because we're talking about food. <laughs> There's nothing that gets people more excited than talking about food, that's for sure. Ooh, a spectral pack. Yeah. Destroy one card, add four random enhancements. Wait, I have a schmicken command? I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, spectral. Add polychrome. I think polychrome is better than 50 chips. 
I think. Add, destroy one random card and add four. I don't want to add. Yeah, during my Yakuza. Right. Oh, I can't. So many bot comments. Yeah, my bots, uh, I mean, uh, every time you guys make a command, my bot, like, updates, so. Uh, we'll just skip it. Eh, too bad. If, uh, it contains a pair, contains a four of a kind. Ah, eh, we'll just keep going. All right, let's flush. Bam, 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 bam. Play! Yeah, unfortunately, only one spectral effect, right? Play! I haven't brought out Big Jug in a long time. It's actually just sitting there. I need to wash it. <laughs> right now, I just have Little Cup. Hmm. How much is this sell value? I mean, this is plus four. I need better jokers. That's my problem. Destroy cards. I mean, we could destroy cards if we want to start really focusing on only one suit. But there's no need. Because as long as I have this, I always have a flush in my hand. As long as I have this, I'm always guaranteed to have a flush in my hand. So there's no need. We'll just do this. I might as well. A mega arcane pack. Should we do it? Nah. <clears throat> How do you give me one war crime committed? No one tell him! <laughs> no one tell him! No! <laughs> oh wow, this counts as a royal flush. I have not committed any war crimes today! Face cards give 30. Add the number of times a poker plant hand has been played. I mean, that's going to add up. Yeah, let's do it. Chad Simp hmm, and Wholesome. You know, uh, what is it? Questionable was so confusing because it was exclamation point hmm that I also added a uh, I also added a exclamation point questionable just because people kept getting it wrong. <laughs> Create a tarot card if... I don't think that'll happen that much, but it's better than this one, which literally I have no clubs. <clears throat> All club cards. Oh no, what am I going to do? <laughs> Imagine people trying to figure out why I committed a war crime in a poker game. Shh. <laughs> Man, we are rocking this one. <clears throat> Ooh, free money. Sure. Uh, we can re-roll. There's no need to re-roll, though. Enhances one stone. Nah, just keep going. <clears throat> Yeah, we pretty much always have a flush in our hand, as long as we have this card, Four Fingers. Oh wait, the Four Fingers really actually has four fingers. <laughs> this game is super addicting, I don't know what it is. Infinite money glitch? No, not the waifu! <laughs> That's also an incomplete list too. I have to update it. Peach is never going on that list. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't have a husbando list, but I, I might I might update it. <laughs> that's a pretty actually that's a pretty small list. I'm pretty sure I've doubled that by now. <laughs> I think someone pointed out I have Kawakami twice on that list. <laughs> yeah, Marianne, of course, Marianne's at the beginning. Of course, Marianne is number one. Tsumugi, Tsumugi is freaking, of course Tsumugi is on the list. I freaking love Tsumugi with all my freaking heart. In fact, I'm offended that you even thought that Tsumugi might not be on the list. <laughs> Kyoko, Kyoko's not there. Kyoko's not there. Ignore it. Ignore it. I do not love Kyoko. That's a that's a misprint. <laughs> Add a gold seal to my hand. Create a random copy of a random joker. But the trees in Oh wait. Oh wait. Oak Senpai is pretty hot, okay? <laughs> Uh, you know what? We'll do a gold seal. Because there's an achievement where I have a gold card with a gold seal, so... If we can pull that off. Tsumugi is the best waifu in your opinion. It's That's not an opinion, that's just a fact. It's a fact that Tsumugi is the best. Tsumugi straight up destroyed them all. Junko is very unsurprising. Look, I freaking loved Junko from the very first moment I saw her. <laughs> and then she gets skewered, okay? You do not understand how devastated I was. <laughs> Have I seen Acadia-kun? Who? Oh no, all my spade cards are going to be debuffed. What about Junko Junko? Eh, she's alright. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should put Junko twice on that list. Is Nimona on there twice? Well, I just like her times two, I guess. <laughs> I have to I have to edit this um I have to edit the list. There's like way more that I need to catch up on. Ooh, times three malt if all cards are spades or club. That's really good. You couldn't pronounce Tsumugi's name for the first five chapters. <laughs> oh, you know what? Turning my spades to hearts would be really good. I'm low. It makes Blackboard a little bit less good, but you know what? Easy come, easy go. I still have to put the Ace Attorney. Is Mia Fey not there? Yeah, Mia's there. Oh, no, but there's a lot of other girls. <laughs> <laughs> that haven't gone there yet. <laughs> Wait, what about Lada? Lada, I think Lada's on there, right? Is Lada not there? April, May. <laughs> oh my, what's, who's, um, who's the freaking, who's the freaking wife of, um, uh, Mask the Mask? Who's the freaking wife of Mask the Mask? Gotta add Fubuki? I would n no, Fubuki is awful. Yes, Desiree, oh my. Oh my god, Desiree, oh my goodness. Uh, we can do this. This will give us times three because it's spades left. Let's talk about food again. We are talking about food, just in a roundabout way. <laughs> Add Fubuki? I hate Fubuki. I hate Fubuki and her cuteness 
and how adorable she is and how she makes me smile every time I see her. I hate her. <laughs> Gumshoe's your... Gumshoe, Gumshoe is a high quality waifu. You want to see more Stardew? So you, just for the Maki roll jokes? All right, we're going to turn these into vault cards. Well, not, if not add Fubuki, who you going to add? I can't add Halara. I freaking, Halara is like my dream girl. I don't even know if she's a girl, but she's my dream girl. <laughs> Ooh, we got a spectral. I love the spectral packs, even though they're kind of weird. Add Halara to Husbando. Converts all cards to a single random rank. Minus well, that is actually kind of cool. Let's do it. Yo, look at the fours, baby! <laughs> Yo, can we get a five of a kind flush? <laughs> oh, I need that Haley, you're right. Maybe a full house flush? Walkie talkie crit. Ooh, we should see if we can get the walkie talkie one. We should discard that. Yeah, there we go. Nine, eight, seven. Kurumi. Kurumi's adorable. But I'm not sure if she is a waifu material. White walkie talkie? Walkie talkie? Ah, look, we got the family again. Um, faceless Joker. Let's see what we get in here. You hate Kurumi? Why do you hate Kurumi? Um, Swashbuckler isn't as good as this one, because this one gives me 15, this one only gives me 8. That's 13, but that'll just keep growing. This one has never helped me at all. Ooh. Will you actually put April May way on the blah, 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 on the waifu list? Maybe. I'm not sure if she's waifu material though. She's kind of a hoe. <laughs> oh hey, Sixth Sense is back. Nah. Decrease the level of the poker hand played. Kirumi Tojo. There's some crying and it sounds more like arousal and mo I'm so glad you guys are part of this stream. <laughs> I'm playing this game smart. You're the greedy kind of guy and lose. <laughs> I try to not give in to greed, but I am also an incredibly greedy person who loves money. <laughs> oh, all face cards become gold. I like money. <laughs> Ooh, plus one card slot. You won't forgive her for trying to seduce the bellboy. Bellboy is a good boy. He is a good boy. Add polychrome to a random joke and destroy all the other jokers. Oh, add a blue seal. Sure. Beep. And we'll see what's in here. Oh, we got the go- Oh no, if only we could get the ace! Dang it! Oh. Unfortunately, blackboard becomes less and less good the more hearts I get, but still- Oh wait, no, that's just a wild card. Um, we'll just turn this to a wild card.
Doom, 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 doom. Let's see, we got this, this. There, two, three, four, five. Play it. We don't get that though. Do, 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 do. That's good. Bam! Oh no, my glass card! The fragility of man! We get Neptune. Uh, straight flushes are probably not gonna happen. Oh, we can destroy some cards. Martina Electro... Um, Martina Electro kind of a thought. <laughs> How are we doing? What's our... Okay, 28 hearts, 23 spades. With four fingers... True. I want another glass card. <laughs> Might as well. But I just sold it! Just discard these. Ooh, now that's good. Play it. Uh. Okay, you know what? I want to get back to food. What is the most delicious thing you guys have ever eaten? Ooh, a spectral's back. I figured out my secret strat. Yeah, you just sell everything. <laughs> add a blue seal. Just add two enchanted aces. Uh, we'll just add a blue seal to this, I guess. Sure. Most delicious or most memorable? See, memorable doesn't have to be tasty. So we're going to say with delicious. All face cards are debuffed. I am a little bit afraid, to be honest, because I feel like I'm not going to get high enough to uh, um, get to 100,000 at um, anti-8. We're going to have to figure out some better jokers. No, my glass card! <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll discard that. Original Cabanara. Cabanara is delicious. Like with uh with the guanciale and then uh just with the cabanara, guanciale, and the pecorino. Oh mwah. Mwah. Better jokers, yes. <laughs> when you were younger, your uncle used to make this absolutely amazing chicken soup. <gasps> Good chicken soup is, like, freaking amazing. Like, good chicken soup is, like... Like, when it's cold and it's just you have good chicken soup, there's nothing better. I agree with that. Hmm. Glass card. Stone card. We're going more glass card. <laughs> Even though I have been very unlucky with them so far. Uh, I want a straight, diamond, reroll, one free reroll. Ah, next. All heart cards are deep, but I might skip. 
have to re-roll this. Yeah. Cards drawn face down after each hand. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. You learned that the bellboy is the reason why the entire ace attorneys. What do you mean by that? Bam, 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 bam. Play it, baby. Let's see. What is something that's really delicious? Do you guys have, like, a favorite food? Like, I... Ooh, nice. Doom, 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 doom. For me, like... Like, do you guys know what I mean? Like, I really like sushi, but I couldn't eat it every day. Like, if I ate sushi every day, I would be so disgusted. It's like once, like, a few weeks. So it's like, I, for that, I can't call sushi, like, my favorite food. Because, because even though it's delicious, it's also, I can't, I just can't do it. You know what I mean? Uh, straights. Ooh, turn a card on the left of the card on the right. Ooh, free money. Maybe pizza. Pizza is very flexible. You have a great point there. You ate cooked sushi twice. You kind of liked it. I mean, cooked sushi is fine. I don't. I don't necessarily think sushi needs to be raw. I mean, it's kind of a staple is raw, but you don't. I don't think it has to be raw. Well, at least modern sushi. Like um, you know, the actual story of sushi is that supposedly kind of like the story is that some fishermen were gambling and they didn't want to leave their gambling game so they just ate the fish raw supposedly now it's kind of that's kind of like more like an urban legend but mm, three of a kind meh 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 you don't really like pizza i mean fair enough fair enough pizza is like, it can get pretty heavy, I think. Poke is very good. Poke, or or if we're talking in American terms, poke. Poke is very good. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll just go next. What is poke? It's, um, it's a Hawaiian, uh, it's a Hawaiian dish. It's essentially... Raw tuna that's diced, like sushi grade tuna that is diced, um, with onions, uh, slivered onions, green onions, and usually soy sauce, and it's kind of just mixed together and served over rice. Vegetables, I so if we're going super super traditional, it's literally just fish, raw tuna on top of rice and soy sauce, um, but um, you know nowadays. Poke, they have like um kind of chili flakes. They use chili flakes. You know, um some people use salmon and garlic. You don't like fish, uh, but it sounds like it would be a nice. It is a very, it's like a very, it's a very uplifting dish. You know how some dishes like make you feel like, oh man, that was good, and then you just want to fall asleep. Like poke doesn't make you feel that. It makes you feel like, huh, that was nice. I'm lively now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go with this. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm just going to discard all of these. Mm, we'll play this. Sure. Uh, let's see. So poke is pretty good. Noodles are great. Noodles are great. I don't think I could have ramen. I think that's the big one for me. I don't think I could do ramen. Like every single day, I mean. Yeah, there we go. Like ramen is... Oh, you know what? I have it. I have it. I have... The food that I would be okay with eating every single day. And it would, it's very simple. This might be my favorite food. It's cold soba. Just cold soba, like, um, zaru soba. Uh, zaru soba. It's just cold soba and dipping sauce. That's it. 
It's just dipping in like a kind of like a lighter soy sauce, so it's not like super heavy. It's just cold soba. You dip it and you eat it. It's like, and that's it. That's it's like it goes with everything. It goes with freaking everything. You could have it with sushi. You could have it with a freaking burger. What is that? I'm so. You know what? We are going to after after I beat this um this one uh this this uh hand we'll go onto the internet and we'll look up food. <laughs> You could probably eat canes. What are canes? Your favorite food is roast beef sandwiches. Roast beef sandwiches are freaking delicious. So you want to try tsukemen. Dip tsukemen, also known as dipping noodles or dipping ramen, is, is very delicious. But be careful because the broth is very, very thick. I, I had a friend who thought tsukemen was just like ramen. So he just poured the broth on top of the, of the noodles. And the broth was so thick. Freaking heavy. <laughs> he was like, what the frick is this? <laughs> oh, Raisin Canes. Yes, I have a I have a Raisin Canes near me. You could probably eat canes your whole life. I'm not sure if I could. Oh, what is this? Create a rant copy of Brandon Joker. Add a red seal. Oh, cool. Uh, I guess we just put that there. Whatever. Hearts and diamonds, space and love, that doesn't really help me in any way. <laughs> what's, what's the boss on this one? The fish. Oh no, we already have it. I might as well buy this one anyway. It would be a short life, but it would be okay. It would be a very short life. Hmm. <laughs> Boom. Boom, 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 boom. You couldn't eat a specific food your whole life. The only thing that... See, that's why, um, what's his name? Um, uh, uh Goaty's suggestion of, um, um, a Goaty's suggestion of noodles, because noodles are very simple, right? So, like, when I said Zaru Soba, it's literally noodles, which are like, it's almost like bread. You know, you can eat bread your entire life, right? I'm pretty sure most of you guys eat bread almost every day, or maybe at least every other day, right? You could probably stir fry chicken. Stir fry chicken and rice is pretty good. It would get bland though. I think it would get really bland. The English term, ow flow. I'm, I'm, I need to look that up. Auflauf. Did I pronounce that correctly? Auflauf. 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 A casserole. It's a type of casserole. Potato and vegetable casserole. That actually sounds not bad. I'm actually a little- Ooh, ooh, ooh! Walkie-talkie! Walkie-talkie, baby! <laughs> you were talking about the walkie-talkie. We have lots of fours. We have ten fours. Yeah, this one hasn't done anything for me. Walkie-talkie, baby. Might as well. Uh, nah. What's the most unusual food I've eaten? I mean, I've had beef tongue. I've eaten grasshopper. Um, we're not playing many fours builds, but we happen to have many fours in our deck. Like we have 10 fours. So and so 14 out of however many number, many cards I have. <laughs> Oh, look, look at the fours, baby. Pretty good. All right, we need to discard one of these. Oh, well, no, we'll discard the five. Nope, we'll discard the six. 
There we go. Uh, what about you guys? What's an unusual food you guys have eaten? No, my glass card! Oh, the pain. Oh, sweet. That's yeah, not that good. I'll just sell it. Diamonds, one free reroll. Ah, oh, dang it! I was hoping for that golden ace thing. We get two, huh? All right. So what are we looking at right now? Spades. We can do more glass card. <laughs> we'll do another glass card. <laughs> you only eat the same stuff. You don't really try anything new. You should always try something new. Uh, bonus cards. Your teachers used to make us eat powdered milk. I mean, you can drink powdered milk, I think, right? But eating it, that's kind of weird. Uh, Malt cards. Let's do this. Ooh, here, perfect. So we really want to prioritize the fours. You had ultra spicy Indian food. Fried cauliflower, that sounds Indian. It was not unusual, but really spicy Indian food is like really, really spicy. Let's see if we can get to 70,000. I'm not 100% I'm not confident on this one. Let's look for some hearts. There we go. They put it on our hands and made us lick it? That's interesting. I'll just discard all of these. Frick! There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Did we get it? Oh, we still need one more. This should do it, though. Yeah, I'm a little concerned. I'm not sure if we can make it to 100,000. This one's slowly building. What do we have it? We're at 35 multiplier for that one. Hmm. Ooh, permanently gained plus one. Oh, that's really good. Copies the ability of the Joker to the right. That's not bad. Four, eight, twenty, sixty, twenty. So this one at most can give me twenty, plus twenty. But if this one can times three times three, that's times nine. Okay, okay, that's actually not bad. Yeah, so I think I'll sell the walkie-talkie. It's nice, but it doesn't give as much. Then again, Abstract Joker doesn't really do that much either. I know, Blueprint, if I put it with, um, to the Joker, to the, if I put it with the Blackboard, it's like times nine, man. Uh, so, uh, we'll just get rid of walkie-talkie for now. Copies the ability of the Joker to the right. So that's this one right here. And we'll buy that. Next round. Okay, so we'll go here. Now nah, we're fine. No, we should do this. Blueprint goes crazy. Blueprint does go crazy. You don't need to convince yourself of that. It definitely goes crazy. Ready? Times nine. 
Oh my god, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Let me see what the boss is, though. Flips and shuffles all Joker cards. Hmm, okay. Uh-oh. Hmm. That's gonna be rough. I might be able to figure out which Jokers are where. Yeah, we might be able to figure out where the Jokers are by paying attention. Create two tarot cards. Make the game super slow. Ooh, ooh, that's good. That's a good call. Ooh, wild card. Uh, retrigger. All right, we need at least one more spade. There we go. Oh, wow, that didn't make it. Oh, well. Ah, this should be fine, though. What is something I want to try? I don't know. You gotta go. Thanks for coming, Sap. Okay, let's make our game slow so we can keep track of everything. <coughs> Settings. Game speed. 0.5. Arcana. Okay, we can buy these two. Before we go. Oh, now it's like super slow. <laughs> oh, glass card. Glass card's good. Bump, bump. <laughs> it's like super slow now. <laughs> oh, we can do another glass card. Let's go ahead and grab that. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Let's pay attention. Frick. I don't remember. I think this one should go there. Eh, whatever. Okay, so we'll just see. We'll just see what happens. Uh, we're, we need to look for our times three. Boom. 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 Again. Boom. Boom. 15 molt. 50. That's times three. That's 39. Wait, 15 molt, something times 3, and then 39. So this one should go here. This one should go here. I think. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, second one is blueprint, I think. Yeah. And I think this one. Doom. 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 Times three? Yeah! Yeah, baby! All right! Okay, okay, okay! All right, we got it. We definitely got it now. So let's go back to our settings. Go to two. Perfect. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Easy!
crazy! Bam! <laughs> Good thing I didn't bet against you. <laughs> let go, let go. You know what? We just beat two different. Ooh. Have at least five glass cards. Well, I would have had them if they didn't keep breaking! Did I unlock anything new? I think I did. Oh, we got S Sly Joker. Oh, look, this entire, um, this entire, um, area is complete. Oh, look, they even have the, the ones where I've won. We still have these ones. <laughs> I've gotten through quite a few Jokers, huh? Uh, it was fun, but you should go. Thanks so much for hanging out, Celestial. <clears throat> you know what we'll do from here? I think we will go... Uh, let's see here. Here. You need to look for your phone chargers. Boot. Not now. Uh, let's see if I can bring this up because it always resets for some reason. Come on. There we go. Oh, look, it's on Xenoblade Cute Girls. Let's see here. Come on, close. You're back. We're about to talk about food today. So we're going to go online and look up some food stuffs. Um, let me open a new window, actually. New window. Food. Food. There it is. Done. All right, now you guys can see it. <clears throat> all right. So... First of all, let's talk about how good do I know Pokemon? I used to be really good at Pokemon. I don't really... Oh, frick. Hey, hold on one second, guys. Uh, where is it? Where's my chat? There. Copy. Paste. Uh, give me one moment. Just have to put it behind things. There we go. All right. Okay, so let's talk about Zaru Soba. Cold Soba, right? I said that this is um, one of my favorite food. Come on, load, load. All right. This is one of my favorite foods. It's super, super simple. Um, what the frick? There's green, eh. Okay, it's very simple. It's literally just chilled soba noodles, which are just buckwheat noodles. Um, and then you have dipping sauce on the side. Uh, let me see if I can find a better image. Images. Yeah, here. Here. Yeah, so it's really simple. You have just, you just have a dipping sauce, which is kind of like a soy sauce. It's a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit sweet, sweeter. You put green onions and wasabi in there and you mix it in. And then you just dip the noodles in there and you eat it. It's very light. It's very simple. And it goes with just about everything. Like, I could eat this every single day. That's why I say this is one of my favorite foods. It's like, pizza, you can't eat that every single day. You're just gonna, like, feel awful. Right? Um, like, uh, what the burgers, you can't eat that every single day. Like, steak, it's like, steak is delicious. Sushi is delicious. But you can't eat that every single day. Ramen, no. But this... You can absolutely eat it every single day because it's very... It's like... It's... This is almost like bread to Japan, to Japanese people. At least I would say. Um, you just eat it. Just dip it and eat it. It's like, it's like you know, like you can eat bread every day. Right? I'm sure most of you guys eat bread like almost all the time. So... Mwah. Mwah. All right, now we need to look up 
Aflong. Aflog. 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 Fluff. Germany. Aflog. Aflog. What was it called again? Aflog. <laughs> you know what's the what's the nice thing about um about um Europe compared to America is that you guys have bakeries that actually have like bread, right? All our bread in the United States is prepackaged. It's pre-sliced, which is nice, but we don't get like actual bread from bakeries. We get it from our grocery store. Ooh. Is this it? Are these Brussels sprouts? This looks good. Is this it? Looks like Brussels sprouts and cheese. We have insane amounts of bread. <laughs> True, German bread is delicious. Am I making you guys hungry? Because <laughs> that's my intention. <laughs> uh, Kiyoma, if you ever get the chance, you should take a trip to Germany. It's really nice. I um I think I've been to uh, Dresden. Dre I've been to Dresden. Is that am I pronouncing that correctly? <laughs> I'm not going to insult you by attempting to pronounce it. <laughs> but um, um, I've been to Dresden. I've been to Berlin. I've never been to Munich. I've always wanted to go to Munich. Um, apparently, Dresden, a lot of like one of my German friends called Dresden like a retirement <laughs> town. <laughs> apparently, a lot of old people live there. <laughs> Alfloff is the casserole name. You can put so many things. I see. My my German is good. <laughs> I took a year of German <laughs> when I was younger too. <laughs> Alright, let's see what recipes people are recommending. Auflauf Pancake. <laughs> yeah. Auf Fluff pancakes with berry. Is this a thing? <laughs> pozole. Pozole! <laughs> Sounds Italian. Ha <laughs> ha! Pozole! <laughs> I have a feeling that's probably... It sounds Mexican, actually. <laughs> Is it Mexican? <laughs> Alflauf pancakes with berries. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First search, and they disrespecting you. <laughs> okay, let's look at waste free cooking <laughs> potato and vegetable gratin. Gratin, gratin. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a French word. Um. Six boiled potatoes, olive oil, two bell peppers, one small onion, one handful of fresh spinach, um, creme fresh, creme fresh, <laughs> light sour cream, um, heavy cream, milk, garlic powder, Parmesan cheese. Okay, every single image I'm seeing of this looks delicious. But it's cheese, man. <laughs> I'm trying to be healthy, and you show me this deliciousness. <laughs> uh, are they saying cookies or something? Sure, I agree. Uh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go American German on this one. Okay. <laughs> American German. Janice Desen Ein 
Fa Chen, <laughs> Rosen Cole, Hack Flesh, Al Fluff, <laughs> and Gamutalikin. <laughs> Gamutalikin. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. But look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna remember that. Gamutalikin. <laughs> no, that is so fun. <laughs> M. Foliner, Bay Track. <laughs> it means cozy. Yeah, look at this. Broccoli and chicken. Oh, I understand why you said this casserole, because you can make it in like a million different ways. Good choice. Kioma, you have a favorite food? Right, pozole. Pozole, okay. Pozole. Authentic Mexican pozole. Okay, anytime a website says authentic, you gotta be careful. <laughs> because usually it's the exact opposite. <laughs> Here we go, authentic pozole. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Authentic Italian pozole. <laughs> I like my pozole. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Pork shoulder. Okay, I like this already. Garlic, cumin, two tablespoons of oil. Is it like a braised pork? Because that's what it looks like, and it looks okay. Black pepper, cayenne, chili powder, oregano, salt, White hominy, pork broth, green chilies, canned, canned, ugh, canned. You know, I actually learned, like, there are reasons for using canned things, like canned tomatoes. Like, there's a reason, like, you if you, like, because, like, they're, like, they're, like, mushed in a certain way that makes it good to use or something. Um, whole ancho chilies. What are ancho chilies? Okay, we gotta look this up. Ancho chili. Oh, these! I freaking love these. These are delicious. I love these. My sister hates them. Yeah, okay, um, okay, I'll say this, I'll say this, um, if you ever go to America and you're looking for authentic ingredients from, like, different nations, whether it's, like, um, Chinese or Japanese ingredients or Mexican ingredients or, like, um, like, Brazilian ingredients or, like, African ingredients, okay, always look for the worst packaging. <laughs> Because the worst packaging always has the best ingredients. Like, look at this. This is a freaking plastic bag, right? So you can trust this. It's a, it's just chilies in a plastic bag. Do you know what you should never trust? This. This looks like high quality glass and plastic in a nice bottle. Don't buy that. <laughs> never buy that. Look for the worst packaging because the worst packaging is always going to be the best. It's true of so many different things. <laughs> oh man. Your mom literally has those horrible- Exactly! Because your mom knows what's up. You always get bad packaging because bad packaging means better ingredients. <laughs> Like, it's true of, like, tofu, too. Like, if you're buying tofu from, like, a Japanese market. Tofu. Uh, soup. 
supermarket. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Here. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Here's a perfect example of it. Right? Uh, you have... Like, look at this. Super nice box. Now, you can't see it very well, but let me, let me zoom in. All right, look at this. It's a super nice box of tofu, right? I'm firm organic tofu from house foods, right? And then, where'd it go? <laughs> you have these crappy plastic bags. <laughs> Always get the crappy plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> you can suggest a dessert. Ooh, do desserts. I actually don't eat too many sweets, but like a good dessert is nice. I generally don't like too sweet. <laughs> Choco flan. Choco flan. Oh my goodness. What the? Betty by Betty Crocker? Uh, I don't trust that. <laughs> is this it? Or is this too fancy? <laughs> this looks overly fancy. <laughs> it looks good though. It's like chocolate cake and flan on top. Looks freaking delicious. If I suggest anything, you'll get some German site I don't understand. You know, that's all the better. All the freaking better. You know, I want, I, the, the less I understand, the more I know it's legit. <laughs> all right, but Choco Flint, this looks delicious. Freaking, oh, look at, look at, you got the, whatever the sauce is like leaking out of the bottom. It's like, mwah, mwah. that looks really good. Except too fancy. It's like a donut shape. It's like, no, you just need I don't think I could do fancy. <laughs> I love this. This is a YouTube video. She's showing chocolate flan, but she also has to put her own image in the thumbnail. <laughs> Whoever you are, I'm sorry for making fun of you. <laughs> You found your charger. Hey, welcome back, Celestial. We're just looking at food. Ooh, look, you put little strawberries inside. This looks really good. Ah, we got la leche. <laughs> you know, when I was learning Spanish, uh, only a little bit, <laughs> I would always say le leche. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> my Spanish teacher was always upset because that was the one word in our vocab list that I never got the, um, I never got the, um, the, 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 the gender right on milk. For some reason, I would always say le leche. For me, milk was always male. <laughs> What's the food? This is chocolate flan. You come at the end? Well, we're not really ending. It's kind of in the middle. We're just talking about food. <sighs> yeah, milk for me was always male, even though milk is clearly female. <laughs> right? You don't milk a male cow. <laughs> I don't know if I even eat anything sweet. Like fruit salad. I mean, fruit salads are good. I need to eat more fruit. Fruit is good for you. <laughs> well, not necessarily. There are some fruits that are high in sugar. Dang it. I'm, I'm becoming a health nut. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Don't become my sister. Don't become my sister. You're a sweet tooth. I'm okay with sweets every once in a while. I definitely can't be like a sweet tooth though. Like my sister is actually a sweet tooth, which is why she is, tries to be as healthy as possible because whenever you put a cake in front of her, she cannot resist. Milk rice. Milk rice. We'll do this. Milk rice German man. <laughs> rice pudding. Here, here. Milch rice. 
German rice pudding. German rice pudding. <laughs> okay, we'll see if spruce eats is good. Okay, what? They put a cinnamon stick in there. <clears throat> All right, let's see this. One cup white rice. Really? It's just white rice? I thought it was always like some like fancy type of thing. It's just white rice, really? <laughs> one fourth cup sugar. One eighth teaspoon salt. One fourth, four cups of milk. And one two inch long piece of vanilla beans split open or one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Do you know what is really cool? When you slice open the vanilla bean and then you scrape out the seeds and they all come out, that is so freaking cool. I love the little vanilla bean seeds. They taste really good. <laughs> all right. You mix the rice and sugar and salt. Oh, wait, you mix the rice, sugar and salt together? One cup, is it, is it? Wait, is the rice already cooked? No, the rice is uncooked. Oh, you cook the rice in the sugar and salt? Okay, okay. Go away. Okay, so you mix the rice, sugar, and salt in a large saucepan. And then you stir the in the milk and add the piece of vanilla bean or vanilla extract. Whoa! 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 This is so cool! Look at it! <laughs> Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> and it looks so easy to make, too. You just literally put sugar, rice, salt, and... Sugar, rice, salt, milk. That's literally it. And then vanilla bean, I suppose. But vanilla extract is easy. <laughs> and then renew remove the vanilla bean. Serve warm with cinnamon and sugar to taste. A dollop of fruit gumbolt. Fresh fruit or your favorite combination of toppings. You have just ruined me because I'm going to be making this all the time now. <laughs> uh... Making this in a pressure cooker eliminates any chance of the pudding burning on the bottom. Interesting. Can you guys use a pressure? I, I, I live in fear of pressure cookers. You're lactose intolerant? I'm lactose intolerant. That's never stopped me. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, you can, there, I'm sure there's like lactose free stuff. Tres leches. That means three milks. <laughs> You can, can you use like oat milk and like almond milk and like, um, whatever other milk you can? Or can you just use like, is it just like lactose free milk? Because there is lactose free milk that is just milk, but with the lactose removed, but you just use soy. I mean, it'd probably get a slightly different consistency, but it probably would be fine. I actually can't do soy milk. I am actually allergic to soy. Which is very interesting, actually, because I can't eat soy beans, but I can eat just about any soy products. Like, soy sauce is fine, tofu is fine. It's like, I just can't eat soy beans, like, directly. No, 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 I can eat, I can eat soy beans. I just can't drink soy milk, specifically, because soy milk is really condensed soy, so I just can't drink that, unfortunately. <laughs> we are very good with futuristic and economic things. <laughs> Okay, is this, is this close? Can I eat fermented soybeans? Yes, I can. Natto you're talking about, right? I'll show you guys what natto is. A lot of people think it's really, really weird. I love natto. I'll show you guys after this one. Okay, so this looks like tres, tres leche. <laughs> tres leche literally means three milks. See, I passed Spanish class. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Combine flour, baking powder, and salt. Separate the eggs. 
Add sugar. And what what the heck is that? Pour the batter. What 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 are they putting on top? Oh, uh, I see. Um, those are egg whites. Beaten egg whites, of course. Okay. Oh, I see. That's how they get it so fluffy. Combine the evaporated milk and then do that and then pour it on the mixture. Allow it to see. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so after you make it super fluffy with the egg whites, you put it here and then you poke holes in it so that it doesn't explode, obviously. And then after that, you um, refrigerate it for a little while and then you let it soak up all the milk so it becomes fluffy and light. Right, this is like a, I, I don't know how to describe it. This is a really wet cake. <laughs> Does that make sense? Is that, do, do you get what I mean, Kiova? It's a wet cake. <laughs> like, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's, it's juicy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a really juicy cake. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. But it's all drippy and nice. Oh, it's it's good. I love this. It's a juicy cake. Oh, I love I love Tres Leche cake. I didn't know it was called Tres Leche's cake, to tell you the truth. I've had it before, I just didn't know. Yeah, my friend is um, from Mexico. I think he's from Mexico. Well, his family's from Mexico, and I had it at his, at his place. I hate it when your cake gets wet. No, but this is the good type of wet, right? There's like, when you go out in the rain and you get wet, and there's like, taking a shower wet, right? Taking a shower, that's an enjoyable type of wet. Going out in the rain, that's an unenjoyable type of wet. See, see how there's a difference? <laughs> right? Tres Leche is like taking a shower. <laughs> also, welcome, Arcade. No oil or butter in the cake. That's right. This Tres Leche cake is not made with butter or oil. <laughs> you enjoy being in the rain? Well then, I guess you'll like this, because it's wet cake. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today, Cassie. This cake isn't even oiled up. Okay, now I gotta show you guys Natto. Natto. Ooh. Nat Natto rocking animal? Natto? Um, Japanese food. Okay, this is something that you guys might think is really weird, but it's actually really delicious. So, I think... Who was it who has said that? Celestial said fermented soybeans. Okay. So this is it. Natto. So it's essentially fermented soybeans and they just get kind of like sticky and gooey. It's kind of like, uh, you know, a content creator who likes natto. Oh, interesting. Oh, you guys know this. Oh, sweet. Then I don't have to explain why it's so freaking delicious. And it's healthy, apparently. I just eat it because it's delicious. But yeah, it, it's a nice side dish that goes with everything. But it does kind of have like a um, like a mild flavor, like it has a mild aftertaste to it. So it's kind of like uh, you don't know the taste. I mean, it's it's like a imagine. It's kind of like if pinto beans were a little bit stickier. <laughs> I think that's a good way of explaining it. Like you can see it's kind of sticky and gooey. So here like you see it's kind of like gooey and sticky and that type of thing kind of turns people off. But it, it, it's essentially just like beans, right? These are soybeans, right? It's like, it's they're kind of like pinto beans, but you know, like, imagine pinto beans with a slightly saltier flavor and kind of gooey when you eat it. Oh, I know, maybe like a, a combination of gooey pinto beans and like kind of refried beans, maybe? No, no, a little bit. It kind of has like the same mushiness of refried beans. So it's, it's super delicious. 
It looks melted, like melted marshmallows. No, that's just fermentation. So like, you know how like, mm, when you leave candy out in the sun, it starts getting sticky. That's essentially the same thing with um, soybeans. So they're fermented. So it's like, it's like kind of like a salty, like it, it's kind of like a strong, it has a stronger bean flavor, I'd say, but it's super nice because <clears throat> if you put it in rice, like the flavor becomes more mild and just adds a little bit of texture to the rice. And for people who don't like mushy texture, they might find it weird, but if you're okay with like things that have like a more mushy texture, I think it's super good. Like I know some people just from the texture alone, they think it's weird. Um, but it just has like a bean flavor. It has like a, like a, it's like, ooh, I know. It's like if you made, put pinto beans and soy sauce together. And that's kind of the flavor. That's kind of the flavor it is. It's like pinto beans with soy sauce. That's how I would describe the flavor. Mushy like mashed potatoes. Well, I mean, it's like, can, if you imagine biting into the bean and every bean was filled with mashed potatoes, kind of like that. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I think, I think, I think that's a good description. It's, um, if you made pinto beans with soy sauce and then it was kind of sticky. No, it's not a sweet dish. It is not, this is not a sweet dish. This is a, um, this is a, um, side dish for a lot of, um, uh, like meals. Beans and rice. I mean, hey, hey, that's actually a great idea. A lot of um, people, they do um, rice and beans, right? Rice and red beans. Cooking with man. <laughs> How's it going, Slippery? You know, you guys have been asking for a cooking stream for a very long time, and it's been so difficult because my webcam doesn't move. <laughs> I might have to, like, do it on my laptop, and you get, like, a super crappy stream that day, but I'll make chicken parmesan or something. <laughs> Do a cooking stream. God, the the one problem I have with cooking is that my my apartment gets super steamy, so I have to open the I have to open the window. <laughs> yeah, but cooking. You know what? I should do a cooking stream where I try out all your the dishes that you guys recommend. I'll make alflauf. I'll make um. Tres leches. Oh, you don't want to watch me bake, man. That would be awful. <laughs> oh, do you know what we should do? Let me pull up a video of mochi making. All right, we're pounding mochi today. All right, all right. You guys know what mochi is. It's essentially rice, very fluffy rice. I, I almost want to say cake. It's like a rice dough, but look at this. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> they just pound over and over. Bam, 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 bam. I don't want to play the entire thing because they'll yell at me for... Oh, look, there's my stream. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, uh, but... Okay, uh... When am I going to play... I probably will play Bug Snacks. Um, because it seems like a shorter game. It also seems like a fun little silly game. Um, I hope you guys aren't tricking me, because it did say psychological horror. What would happen if I watch my own stream on stream? <laughs> Is that like extra meta? <laughs> I've been getting a lot of Avatar The Last Airbender recommendations recently. <laughs> Iroh and Zuko being a comedic dub, a uh, duo for 12 minutes. <laughs> All 
I'll really play bug snacks. I think I'll try bug snacks. All right, let's see. Any other recipes you guys want to go on to or you want to go back to girls? <laughs> because I'm okay looking at girls again. <clears throat> You're thinking of food? Do you guys have any food? Oh, 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 I know, I know. Jewish lasagna cake. What is that called? Kugel! 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 Kugel. You guys ever had Kugel? It's like if lasagna and cake had a child. <laughs> like, go away. It's, it's a noodle, but it's like... <clears throat> alright, alright, let, let's see this. Let's see this. Okay. Here we go. Let's zoom in. Oh, dang it, the stupid advertisement's in the way. Okay, uh, here. Extra wide egg noodles. Diamond crystal? What the frick is diamond crystal? Morton kosher salt. Oh, it's salt. Butter, eggs, sugar, cottage cheese, sour cream... Vanilla extract and ground cinnamon. Okay. <clears throat> First you make the noodles. <laughs> then you butter up a baking dish. Then... You cut up a stick of butter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, here's my problem with baking. It uses so much freaking butter. I feel awful when I realize, oh my god, I'm eating an entire stick of butter. <laughs> Okay. Okay, then you... Okay. You cut a stick of butter, melt it, whisk eight eggs, and a half a cup of sugar, and then you add cottage cheese and sour cream, vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, and look, full fat cottage cheese. I just feel awful when I eat it. And then salt, and then combine it. And then you toss the egg noodles in your sugar mixture. Literally, you toss your noodles in cake batter, essentially. I know that Arcane is like watching this and going, oh my god, what is he doing? <laughs> okay, then he goes to, a, then you go to a baking dish. And then you put a few noodles on the surface, poking out to make it crispy. Okay. Then you bake it, and you rotate it a little bit, I guess. Rotating the pan halfway. Okay, you're baking it. Okay, then you let it cool, and then you kind of slightly burn the noodles on top, and it's it's essentially lasagna cake. It's lasagna cake. It's freaking delicious. It's lasagna cake. <laughs> and it's freaking amazing. <laughs> Jewish people everywhere are like face palming. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> it is some. It's so freaking good. It's it's so weird because it's noodles, but it's like cake. You're showing me Madonna or <laughs> not Madonna. <laughs> Buñuelos. Oh, look up Buñuelos. Okay, but... Yes, but lasagna cake, it's good. Kugel, try it. Try it. It's very easy to make. You just mix the eggs and the butter, and then you pour your noodles into it. Okay, um... Buñuelos. Buñi loss. Okay, Buñi loss. <laughs> Oh, they're donuts! Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Look at look at a little nutcracker in the background. Often served during Christmas. Do you do you eat it during Christmas? <laughs> the bee thing sounds cool. <laughs> and they have <laughs> next to the donuts, they randomly have a barbacoa recipe. <laughs> ooh, they have a chili relleno. I love chili relleno. 
But you know what's really interesting? All my all my Mexican friends don't like chili relleno except for me. And I'm not Mexican, so... <laughs> but anyway, besides the point. Uh, okay, it's fried dough covered in cinnamon. Oh, that just sounds delicious. Flour, water, oil, granulated sugar and ground cinnamon. Oh, that's literally it. That's it. It's literally just fried bread with sugar. And it sounds freaking amazing. <laughs> This looks like sweet knot. It kind of does. <laughs> it does kind of look like naan. <clears throat> yeah, it's fried bread with sugar. And it looks freaking great. And bottle of milk right there. Actually looks really good. <laughs> All right, but first, now we gotta go to Chili Releno. Hola, I'm Isabel. Hi, Isabel. <laughs> okay, we gotta do a Chili Relenos. Re re rellenos? Is it? Is that two L's is a Y, right? Rellenos. Stuffed peppers. All right, so. How do we make, you know, what's really difficult about this is emptying the chili. I never understood how they did that. Uh, you roast your poblano pepper and then you remove the skin. You have a donor kebab. Freaking donor. Okay, we got to look up donor after this because donor is freaking delicious. Um, I had it when I went to Dres Dresden. Alright, uh, so, alright, you remove the skin. <clears throat> Wait, is that how they do it? They just slice it open and then they put it to- That's cheating! <laughs> That's cheating! I'm so disappointed right now. I thought they like somehow found a way to to like stick the cheese inside, but no, they just open it up and then they close it. But I'm I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Kiyoma, everything I've known is a lie. All right, but then after that, you put it in your batter, and then when do you take out the toothpicks, though? How do you take out the toothpicks? <laughs> how do you how do you take out the toothpicks? Oh, I guess after you put the batter on it. <clears throat> All right, so the toothpicks are still there. You put the okay, you put the flour and then the batter. Um, use one hand. Quickly and gently fry both. Or do you fry it first and then you remove the toothpicks? I don't know. Helpful. Buy the largest poblano peppers. Use a different cheese. Traditionally, chili relleno is made with oxa cheese. But you could use mozzarella. Oh! No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta stick with the, the, this kind of cheese. I don't even know what kind of cheese this is. I just, I would know the flavor of this type of cheese when I taste it, but I would never know what it was called. <laughs> I would just call it the cheese I would use at like that Mexican restaurant. <laughs> You know, you know what I mean? Like you could taste it, but you just, you couldn't, you couldn't, you didn't have a name for it. <laughs> ah, yes, chili rellenos, except, except now I found out they don't just magically put the cheese inside and I'm kind of upset. <laughs> okay, let's look donor. Donor kebabs on Wikipedia, introduced by Turkish immigrants. I know in Germany, you have a lot of Turkish immigrants. 
the key oh my jeez donor um here donor kebab germany's most popular street food <laughs> who are you I had I had this um when I was in uh, Dresden. It was super delicious. You take a what type of bread is this? Like I remember they put it in the bread with like all this stuff inside. It was good. Like we I have donor here, but they don't have this this bread. They just wrap it in like a tortilla or something like that. So it's not as it's not it's not the same. Yeah, a friend of mine is Turkish, and he said, he said, you know, a running joke in Turkey is to, is that the dream of every Turkish individual is to immigrate to Germany and open a donut shop. <laughs> Which I found freaking hilarious. <laughs> I was thinking of another one. It's called Lum Piang Shanghai. I will look that up after donut. Okay, Turkish bread. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to look at the pictures because this is too hard, man. <laughs> Dona. Kebab meat. Yeah, they like shave it. Like the place I went to, like they had this like, they almost had like this like, it was almost like they were using a razor blade to shave it. Like, they were giving, like, the donor, like, a very clean shave <laughs> to, to get the donor off of the kebab. Like, they weren't using a knife. They were, like, shaving it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that beauty. Big stack of meat. Here's what you need. Bacon is the surprise. No, oh, this is, oh, get out of here. Bacon, get out of here. All right, so next, all right, we'll look up Flanderbrot after Lum Pyeong Shanghai. But let's do Lum Pyeong. Lum Pyeong Shanghai. Lum Pyeong Shanghai. Wait. <laughs> Lum Pyeong Shanghai is a Philippine. <laughs> That's actually interesting. I thought I totally thought it was going to be Chinese. <laughs> All right. So Lumpia. Oh, flander brought is the bread you put. Okay, I'll have to look that up. <clears throat> Basic filling composed of ground pork with minced onions. Carrots and seasonings. This looks good. This looks really good. This looks really good, but it looks like something I'd only eat like two of. Because egg rolls are like super heavy. You know what I mean? You know, I have a Filipino supermarket um, near me. Maybe I should just buy some of these. <laughs> your, your family's watching the Spider-Verse? <laughs> yeah, like, you know, what's really difficult about egg rolls or, um, you know, egg roll adjacent things is to make sure the insides get cooked. That's really hard. Yeah, they're like little little egg rolls. And like instead of the filling, it like instead of like um like like whole fillings, they're using like minced fillings, which actually looks pretty good. That looks good. And there's this random man. <laughs> oh, no, he's the, he's the he's the chef it seems like. <laughs> yeah, this looks good. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna stop by the supermarket and see. Oh, the second movie. Yeah, if they are, you should join them. 
I have to stop, but I have to remember that. Okay, next up, we gotta look up the bread. Fla Fladenbrot. Fladenbrot. Turkish flatbread. Ah! Ah, I see. Fladenbrot. Ah, yes, yes, it's this bread. That's right. I don't know what they put in here. Avocado cream, but... Yeah, it's that bread. Okay. Uh, you said... Dono... Spiris. Dono... S-P-I-E. I... Dono Spiris. Um... I don't have the fancy S on my keyboard. Maybe... <laughs> maybe a B will work? <laughs> Donor... Oh, there, see? See? When I type the B... <laughs> It comes up. <laughs> All right, we found it. Okay, this website is .de, so I am infiltrating Germany. Wait, no, <laughs> wait, no, hold on. I think they're selling the, the spit. <laughs> I thought this was a, <laughs> I thought this was for, uh, I thought this was for, um, uh, what is it? I thought this was a recipe, but no, I think they're actually just selling the, um, the spit that you make it on. <laughs> Friat. Dono production. Oh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Did I just find myself a company that makes donor products? Oh my god. Okay. Yes! Yes! <laughs> they sell donor machinery, I think. Or do they sell the donor itself? No, 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 this is definitely, they're selling the spits. Oh, they also sell cocktail sauce. <laughs> Wait, do they sell the meat or are they selling the, the spits? Someone, I, I, I need a translation here. <laughs> Hack the spits. I think this is the, the spit, right? This is the spit that they're selling it on, right? Or is this the, the meat itself? Oh, they're selling all the meat. You never knew you could. <laughs> See, <laughs> I know German things. I'm, I'm a certified German. <laughs> all right, so this is just, just me doing German things on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> it means meat. Meat thing. <laughs> you can literally order meat there. Okay. Frat Dono Production. Located on Bochum Hanstrand. <laughs> so if you wanna go order some donor, just head over there. I'm 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 I got your back. <laughs> just just take a I don't know where you live, but take like a five hour drive over to there. <laughs> it's probably not in your city. <laughs> Contact. Okay. You know what? I should contact these I should actually contact these guys. See if they wanna <laughs> sponsor my stream. <laughs> This stream is brought to you by Donor. <laughs> mm. 
Where is Boca? City in Germany. All right, we're doing some Google Maps today. Here's Bulkum. Oh, wow, it's super out of the way. Uh, Munich is down here. Berlin is over here. Okay, so that's super out of the way. Imagine getting it sponsored by... Yo, if Donor, if Donor Productions sponsored me... That would be so cool. Like, not even lie. That would be awesome. I know, uh, where is, where is, um, Dresden? Dresden is down here somewhere. Where are you? Or is it up? Eh, whatever. Uh, okay, Bolcom is over there. Dresden. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, oh, it was south. It was just the wrong south. I was over here, or it was over here. <laughs> I knew it was south of Berlin, so I was just thinking here, but no, south of Berlin is here. Yeah, this is where I took a big trip. It, it wasn't a vacation, by the way. It was actually a, um, it was a conference, and so I got to see a lot of interesting things. I went to this theater, actually, this theater that they're showing right here. Yeah, I actually went there. Um... Kind of cool. I kind of recognize some of these places. Oh, I went to this exact location. I was actually here. I got a burger, like, right there or something. <laughs> <clears throat> although, this looks like a touristy area. Although, 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 do you know what was really cool? Germany, like, when I went to Dresden, they had really cheap, but effective hotels there were like one stall hotels it was like you had a bed you had a little desk right here and then the shower was like actually inside the bedroom it was just like cut off so it was like super super effective and like the 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 the, the, the um the, the the toilet was just like kind of inside a little room so it was like really really compact and like so it was like a really good use of space but really nice like the hotel, they have really effective, like, mini, like, mini hotels. That are, it's really cool. Which is something we don't have in uh, the United States. We have Motel 6, like, or a motel, which is going to be, like, the most disgusting thing. Or we have, like, five-star hotels, which are, like, the Hiltons and the Hyatts and the whatevers, which are, like, over-the-top luxury. It's like, I just... You know, it's like, we don't just have, like, Jugendherberg. Yes! 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 Yes, that is exactly what it is. Um, Jugendherberg. Images. Uh, I mean, they're they're showing children right here, but yeah, they're showing children. But it's like it's really effective and nice, like uh uh rooming, and it's like it's not like a Motel Six, like Motel Six, like. For those of you who don't know what Motel 6 is, it's a really, like, cheap motel. Like, it's, it's like a, it's a very, very, very simple, small room hotel. And motels used to be really, really, really good and really, really cheap and really, really effective back in, like, the, let's say, the 60s, the 70s, 80s. Nowadays, it is not great. Like, our motels have fallen apart. Oh, it's like for class trips or for travelers. I see. <clears throat> but I think there was a Germany mini hotels. Small hotels. Like, yeah, like, let me see if I can find something that's very similar. No, that's way too large. Okay. <laughs> I look up small hotel in Germany and I get this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a small hotel. <laughs> mm. 
They must think I'm rich or something. I don't know. Look at this. Man. Do you guys know? Oh, what the frick is that? <laughs> I need to click on this now. The most amazing hotels. Where's the fish thing? Where's the fish thing? Here. Radisson Blue Hotel in Berlin. Very small yesterday. <laughs> Look at this. There is no question that the highlight of the incredible Radisson Blue in Berlin is the enormous aquarium in the lobby. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, usually when I'm um going to places, it's usually not for vacation. Like, I'm actually, like, doing work and business and stuff like that, so... I never get a chance to enjoy the hotels, which is why I just do, like, a small hotel, but... I enjoy the food. <laughs> yeah, Dona was great. You know, fun fact. I think that thing exploded or something. Did it? Oh, no. I can imagine that it would eventually. Totally random fun fact. But did you know in Germany, you guys have really good Chinese food? I'm not sure why. Maybe there are a lot of Chinese immigrants or something, but for some reason in Germany, apparently they have really good Chinese food. <laughs> it was over the all over the news, really? Radisson Blue Hotel Break, maybe? Radisson, what happened to the Radisson Blue? Oh, no, someone... No, Molly. Molly's? Is that it? No, a Radisson Blue Hotel. Yeah, Chinese fast food. Like, yeah, apparently you guys have really good Chinese fast food. Here. What happened to the German fish tank? Yeah. Do they have pictures of it? No, I don't think they do. Uh, but here. The Aquadom burst in the early hours of December 16th. Two people were slightly... Uh, at least no one was hurt. Yeah, um, apparently it, it collapsed. Prosecutors said they have closed an investigation of persons unknown on suspicion of causing bodily harm by negligence. Commissioned by the building's owners. Its author, engineer, Dudu, has presented three theories, but said that there was no clear evidence to prove any of them. Hypotheses were that an adhesive seam holding together the cylinder may have failed. That the tank may have been damaged by a dent in its base when the aquarium was modernized in 2020. Or that the tank may have been refilled too late after that modernization, drying the acrylic wall glass walls out too much. Wow. Huh. There's a lot going into aquarium maintenance, apparently. <clears throat> That's kind of sad. Well, at least no one was hurt. Maybe they, uh, maybe they put it back up. It's kind of cool how um, we have some hotel rooms facing inside. That's kind of cool. You know, it makes me wonder though. There's a ladder right here, but it doesn't go all the way. So if there's no water, is it possible to get out? <laughs> I wonder. Like, it looks like you can swim up to the ladder to get out. But if there's no water, can you get out? <laughs> oh. Independent, fact-based, nonpartisan reporting. Start your day with the Morning Wire, the top stories that shape our world, delivered Sunday through Friday. Um, hey, AP News, if you want to um, sponsor this stream, just give me a call. <laughs> anyway, somehow we've ended up on German hotels, but... 
Yeah. But luxury hotels are really amazing, if you ask me. Oh, do you know what we should look up? Luxury penthouses. See, now I'm just trying to make myself feel bad because I'll never be as rich as these people. But <clears throat> San Diego penthouses. Oh, that's for me because I live in San Diego. <laughs> oh, only 13 million. <laughs> Let's take a look at this one. Oh my goodness. What the frick? There's a piano over there overlooking the city. Look, there's a dog over here. <laughs> oh my. I'm going to say, I'm going to say it right now. Fancy houses and fancy like penthouses and fancy apartments, they don't feel like homes. They feel like museums. Do you know what I mean? Like these are really nice to look at and you get super jealous of the people who own them. But like and then you kind of think, like, I would never actually want to live here, though. It feels so cold, right? It's like, I want to live in, like, a cozy space. I got my recording booth over here. I got my a nice little hallway into my bedroom over there. But it's like, over here, it feels, like, so large and empty. You know what I mean? Does the dog come with the penthouse? <laughs> the dog is included. <laughs> <clears throat> but I mean, I get super jealous because like it's the idea of living here is really cool, but I don't think I'd actually enjoy living here. You know? Wow. There's no, there's not even a doorway. It's just a golden elevator that takes you up. <laughs> <coughs> it might be noisy though, the elevator moving up and down. So I don't know about that. Ooh, look at this indoor fireplace like that. You got a nice view. Is that the ocean? I can't tell. No, it doesn't look like it. Got a wine cellar. Who uses a wine cellar anymore? I never understood that. I know, they're more like a flex than an actual place to live. You know, what I find really interesting, you know, all the influencers nowadays, they are, you know, buying these large houses and almost all of them have a wine cellar because they're made for guys in like their 50s. Right, these houses are made for like guys who make the millions in like their 50s and 60s. So like, they don't never use the wine cellar, so it just remains empty and they use it for like, I don't know, like a dog house or something. How do you think it's like to live in Buckingham Palace? I don't know. More than anything, one, th one thing I know about Buck Buckingham Palace is there are always like guards everywhere, right? It, it'd be kind of weird, you know? It's like you step outside your room and there's people. You know what I mean? It's like I never, when I step outside my apartment, I don't expect there are people kind of listening in and waiting. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just want to walk to my car. What the heck? Nice view though. Nice kitchen. Look at this kitchen. Got an island. True, but we're not royalty. You know what? Fair enough. You know, for a while, I actually studied King Charles's accent. And his accent is more more something like this. And oh, oh, hello, I'm King Charles. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I find one thing I did when I was uh, learning British accent, and I'm still working on it, but one thing I did was... I compared pe different people's British accents and I used King Charles as like my example of like high class British. And it's very interesting to hear how he talks compared to like, I'll say normal people. <laughs> Man, this place is, oh my goodness, this is insane. Like, oh, do you need all these lights? <laughs> Look, you have an elevator. <clears throat> Super nice bedroom, though. I'd like to have a big bedroom. I just, I don't want the, like, the big living space. Like, I wouldn't know what else to do with it. Yeah, like, you know, one thing I never understood is people who put, like, couches in their bedroom. Like, when will you use these? Like, you will never use these chairs. <laughs> 
Anyway. Okay. Let's see what other San Diego... Ooh! Oceanside View in Carlsbad. For those of you who don't know, Carlsbad is kind of like a retirement ho home. But it's like... It's like a really calm area just north of San Diego. Like, it's almost a retirement village, but... Oh, wow. It's right on the beach, man. Look at that. When you don't want to sit on the bed? Yeah, but why would you sit not sit on the bed in the bedroom? If you didn't want to sit on the bed, you just go to, like, the, the living area, living space, right? Look at this, man. I actually know this street. Like, I've been to this street, like, several times. Not actually to live there, just to go to the beach and stuff, but... And they don't have volleyball courts here, so no good, but... <laughs> But, yeah, look at this, man. Freaking god dang. Oh, wow, they it's super beachy. Look at these um, fans. Wow, they really wanted to get that, like, beach feel. Like, they have the walls that are sand-colored. And they have the dark wood uh, on top. You have a couch and a table. See, a couch is different from, like, sitting chairs. Those are different, right? A couch, you could just lay there. Right? You want to go to your bedroom to lie down. You don't want to go there to, like, sit there and have a cup of tea. <laughs> this looks so surreal. I know, right? Yeah, you have so many freaking windows. I mean, it looks nice, but... I can't imagine living here. Like, every morning you wake up and you hear people yelling and screaming on the beach. In, in LA, that's a nightmare. Maybe not in San Diego. In Carlsbad, it's probably calmer. Yeah, and I don't understand the choice here. It's like, they make this area darker to make it more luxurious, but you live on the beach, so I don't know. Like, do you need the china here? I would replace this with, like, a gaming setup or something. <laughs> Bedroom. I don't like... I'm not a big fan of carpet, to be honest. The only carpet I have is in my recording booth because I need it to dampen the sound. Got the mirror right here, fireplace. You should put a TV here, not a freaking dresser. What are you guys doing? This looks really old, to be honest. This this penthouse looks really old. It looks like it's was designed in the 90s. Like this type of this type of furniture and this type of design is like 90s luxury <laughs> in, in the United States, at least in California. <laughs> like, I'm thinking back to my childhood, and this is what my parents would have put, put in their bedroom. <laughs> this type of stuff. <laughs> Like that. That looks super 90s. <laughs> the curtains? Nobody does these curtains anymore. And what is this? Wow, they don't even have a bathroom wall. They use like a cloth. They're, 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 they're trying too hard to be fancy, man. Uh, there's another bedroom. Yeah, this is so 90s. The carpet looks like it's right out of, like, a history book. <laughs> yeah, this is this is so 90s furniture. Like, oh my god, this couch looks... <laughs> I feel like I've walked into a furniture store before when I was, like, six. And I've seen this exact couch. <laughs> I know, it looks really old. And it's still like six million. Like, look at these tile floors, man. Uh, we're out of here. Ooh, 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 this one looks modern. They're just making nighty stuff now. <laughs> ooh, this one's super modern. No, this one's not modern. This one's like overly elegant. But this is in San Diego, so. 
Okay, this is looks like more of a lobby. No! This is not a lobby area. This is literally just their balcony. What the frick? <laughs> Does this not look like a hotel living space? <laughs> this looks like a hotel! This looks like freaking the entire like balcony of like an entire hotel. This is just their balcony. <laughs> When are you going to use all of these chairs unless you're throwing a party like every night? I mean, to be fair, these rich people probably do throw a party every night. So you know what? Maybe, maybe I should not push too hard on that. <laughs> like, all I need is this. This chair, this chair, and this table, and I'll be good enough for my balcony. I don't even have a balcony. My balcony faces a hillside. <laughs> and you walk up to there and there's like a college there. If you had $20 million to spend on a house, what kind of style of house would you get? Like a basic two, three bedroom, normal family home, and then I'd save the rest of the money. <laughs> Although I'd like to live in... Um... My time in Hawaii was really nice. I would like to live in Hawaii if I wouldn't have to worry about my job. But Hawaii is actually, it's kind of, Hawaii is kind of rough. It's like, it's more of a, it's nice to live there for several months. I feel like if I lived there my entire life, I wouldn't enjoy it. Hmm. Yeah, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting question. Like for me, it wouldn't, if I had $20 million, it wouldn't be what kind of style of house would I get? It'd be more like where I would get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like where I would live would change. Not not what. Like I just want something simple. But where is a big is a big question. I would, for example, I would never live in freaking New York. I might live in like the suburbs near LA, which I mean, to be fair, those places are fairly expensive. So it'd be nice to have twenty million to be able to live there. But. <clears throat> Look at this. It's a freaking hotel. It's a freaking like poolside hotel. Like the maintenance on these places would be a nightmare. Like you'd have to hire so many maids. Wait, is this a Is that a stage? Oh no. Oh, look at this. Look at all these computer monitors. You guys guys can't really see it, but there're a whole bunch of computer monitors. I bet you this guy was some sort of like either animator or music producer or something. <clears throat> this is nice. I like this room. This room is simple. Never mind. <laughs> I know, right? They had a round table with like 20 chairs. And they even have fake grass on their balcony. <laughs> is this like a putting green or something? <laughs> And this one overlooks the city. Nice view, but... I feel like I'd get so lonely living here, even with an entire family. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, I take it all back. This is the greatest penthouse ever. <laughs> Moo, baby! <laughs> I take it all back! <laughs> Is that a cow? It's a cow and a baby cow. A calf. <laughs> anyway, let's look at one more. Ruby home. Hey, hey, Ruby home. If you want to sponsor my stream, just let me know. I would love to be sponsored by them. If they could give me one of these for free, I would never live in there. I just like the I just like the idea of owning it. <laughs> Ooh, the Harbor Club. One thing I never liked about like <clears throat> Um, 
one thing I never liked about, what was I saying, um, about these penthouses is that you're not just paying for the penthouse, you're also paying for the building and the property and the, the, like the building management. So if they have a pool that you never use, you're paying for that. And if they have like a gym that you never use, you're paying for that. And if, you know, like, it's one of those things that I don't like. I mean, I guess if you're rich enough to afford these, you don't care. You don't give a damn anyway. But for me, it's always like, you know, I don't want to pay for things I don't use. So it's one of those weird things. This feels like... This feels like an art museum. This does not feel like a home. <laughs> I could never live here. Like, I could legitimately never live here. It would be too difficult. This... This part, maybe. The, 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 I mean, the view looks nice. This looks like a Star Wars space. Oh my God, you're right. That looks exactly like a Star Wars spaceship. It looks like in, in the fourth movie, at the very beginning of uh, episode four, they're walking down the area. They're preparing to like fire. It's like, this looks like a Star Wars. You're absolutely, oh my goodness. And then we got a meeting space here. I mean, this is nice, I guess. I would lose the rug, but I guess the rug is to protect the floor. <clears throat> this is okay. If if I just had one of these, either this, well, no, no, not this one. Either this as a dining room table or this as like a kind of TV lounge area. If I had one of those, that would be great. But putting them all together, it feels like so, uh, it, feels, it feels so empty. Like I would I would like this. Just just put this in the apartment and lose everything else. You guys ever use a coffee table? This coffee table here? I never reuse a coffee table. Like I don't put coffee on the coffee table. I just drink it and throw it. I guess it'd be nice to put something down. You have a pool table. I mean that's just whatever. Although the top is red, it's kind of annoying. Or is that just a reflection off of the pool table? It might just be a reflection off the pool table. <clears throat> you don't drink coffee? Fair enough. And the bed opens up to the harbor. That's actually not bad. Oh, I see. This is called the Harbor Club because they're on the harbor. Fair enough. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. God knows I'm going to get out of bed one day and trip and break my neck. <laughs> Who thought it was a good idea to put stairs right next to the bed? Who the... Who is the architect? Because... God damn. <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? I know you'll die in like an instant. <laughs> like you, you're tired, you just want to go to sleep, and you need a glass of water. You get up, you fall down. <laughs> no one's coming to help. <laughs> nice view, though. Yeah, the view is nice, at least. Nice kitchen, I guess. You don't need that. Don't need the wine. Don't need that much storage space. I mean, that much storage space, I guess, is nice if you have buy a lot of cereal or something. <laughs> Wait, is that wine or a heating area? Is this an industrial kitchen? I don't know. Eh, I mean, this, this could be the kitchen. We don't need an entire bar. Is the end almost here? Uh, yeah, we're probably going to end the stream pretty soon. Office space. Anyway, I'm done feeling awful about myself and realizing that I'm not rich enough to buy any of these places. What? Monthly Homeowner Association 3000. Freaking no. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway. This was a super fun stream. I'm so glad I got to do this with you guys.
we got to play some Bellotro, Bellotro, which I really enjoyed. We got to talk about food and look at recipes and just look at homes. And This is the type of stream that I love. <laughs> Yeah, and thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Yeah, like, I'm probably not going to stream again on, until Tuesday, so... Finally tuned into a Bellatro stream. Yes, and hopefully next time we'll play Bugsnacks. Um, yeah, I heard Bugsnacks is really good. <laughs> if it's actually a horror game, I'll, I'll, I'll hate you guys. <laughs> Yeah, but I think I'm going to have to figure out what I want to eat today. It'll either be Donor or maybe Chili Rienos. <laughs> How can a game named Bug Snacks be horror? Well, you see, you say that. <laughs> and then there's a game called Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have the Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. The, 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 like, the deluxe edition, where they have just stories of the girls just having fun together. <laughs> I needed that to repair my soul after I played Doki Doki. <laughs> Alright. I think it is time for me to go figure out dinner, and then maybe even go to sleep. <laughs> I, yeah, I played Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Plus! Yeah, we. I, I did the... Oh! Oh, yeah, for some of you guys who are new, because not everyone was here, um, for Halloween, I dressed up as Sayori. <laughs> yeah, my Halloween costume is Sayori. <laughs> Was it on stream? Yeah, I, I think I had two different streams where I dressed up as Sayori. Yeah, you were only here for two to three weeks. Yeah, so you... Uh, yeah, so if you look at some of the older streams, I dressed up as Sayori. And probably find them in, during October or something like that. Uh, although I cried really hard when um, Sayori oofed. <laughs> Sayori was my favorite. Sayori was my freaking favorite, so when she oofed, it hurt, man. It hurt so freaking bad. <laughs> oh, man. I love Sayori. She's like, she is like my little spirit angel, or whatever you call him. Spirit animal, that's it. All right, time to get something to eat. Uh, have some good food and good rest. Thank you so much. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening and good night. If you have any quests for me, I will see you all next time. I should add her to the waifu list. She might be. I'll have to check.